In the dead of night, Iran awakens to the sound of protest. Here in the west of the country, they chant death to the dictator. A call echoed everywhere as these demonstrations spread to most of the 31 provinces. Citizens willing to take on the police and to question the state. This anger stems from the death of Massa Amini, a 22-year-old who was arrested by the notorious morality police in Tehran. They accused her of wearing her hijab too loosely, violating Iran's strict laws. She died in custody, authorities said of a heart attack, but her family dispute this and hold the police accountable for her death. That tragic story of a young woman who died simply for showing too much hair has been the spark. The death not of an activist, but an everyday Iranian. Women have been waving and even burning their veils. The hijab is a symbol, the symbol of the lack of choice. We do often see protests in Iran, uh, but on such a important social and religious and cultural issue to see a consensus and to see the deep-seated popular frustration uh, really points to uh, the legitimacy crisis uh, that the Islamic Republic is facing. This moment feels like a pinch point, calls for women's rights, mixing with those desperate at an ever-weakening economy and a government fueled by corruption. Hardliner President Ibrahim Raisi, whose rule has seen further restrictions on what women can wear, said there would be an investigation into Massa Amini's death. But he also warned that Iran must deal decisively with the protests. We have announced many times that if anyone has a fair comment, we will listen to it. But anarchy, disturbing national security, the security of people, no one will succumb to this. There has been a clampdown, with footage showing security forces shooting at protesters. There are varying reports on the death toll. State TV says 35 have been killed. And activists are now concerned about authorities cutting off the internet and social media. But I do wonder, how are they going to get people to put their veils back on? How are they going to reinforce um, that authority and compliance? And so we might see a concession with regards to the morality police. They might um, be forced to make a concession. Would the hardliner Raisi really open the door to compromise, something the establishment fears? These scenes show a courage many Iranians believe is different to previous protests. Change is never certain, compromise never adequate, but there is a yearning on the streets across Iran today.